Hello Nation, I'm Dr. Steve Edelman. I'm here with my good friend and colleague, Trisha Santos. We're both endocrinologists and the reason I brought Trisha in is because she knows a lot about women issues and diabetes. We're going to talk about pregnancy. The first big category is gestational diabetes. That means that you don't have diabetes, you get pregnant, and somehow your blood sugars go up during pregnancy. And that's more of a type 2 diabetes related issue. We're not going to talk about that today. Today we're going to talk about women who already have diabetes, most likely type 1, but it can also be type 2, who somehow get knocked up by somebody, planned or unplanned. And we want to talk about the important issues with that. So, Trisha, the, what's the overall overarching theme with diabetes and pregnancy? You know, I think the, the, the most important thing to think about is really that you, you have to have good control of your blood sugars before you get pregnant, which is something that we don't always think about. You really have to start thinking about this early. And as long as you do, it's very safe for people to get pregnant if you have diabetes. So if you're saying in the morning that you're gonna go out bar hopping, you should get under control, or, <laughs> or is it really how much long before? So really we're talking about six months or so before would be ideal. Yeah, and I think, wouldn't you say for most people, it's tough to do that? It is very tough. I would say, you know, if, if you're of reproductive age and you're thinking about starting a family possibly, it's just another good excuse to have good control of your diabetes. You know, that's, that's, that's so important. Now, I don't want to scare the audience here, but what can happen if you don't control your blood sugars, uh, you know, before and during pregnancy? Right, so there's risks um, associated with diabetes during pregnancy, both to the mom and to the fetus, okay? So the reason it's important to have control beforehand is because these risks start very early in the pregnancy. So for the baby, for example, there's a risk of things called congenital malformations, meaning when the heart or the digestive system or other things don't form properly in the baby, the babies can be born too large or they can be born early. For the moms, there's a risk of preterm labor, obviously in that early birth, like I said. There's a risk of miscarriage, which often happens very early. Um, and the risk of something called preeclampsia, where the blood pressure goes too high. So this is all very important to, to control before a woman gets pregnant. Yeah, and as, as a diabetes specialist, and so are you, uh, you know, the, the easiest patients to take care of are the women who are pregnant because they want their baby to come out healthy. Absolutely. And for the most part, people do uh, do very well during gestation and pregnancy. Well, what do you recommend uh, in terms of uh, if they, if someone is diabetic and they get pregnant, is there a specialist they should see or absolutely? Other than their doctor? Yeah, I think the two best things you can do if you do get pregnant and you have diabetes are try and see a special high risk uh, OB doctor who can help you manage your diabetes during pregnancy if that's available to you. Also, a continuous glucose monitor can really make your life a lot easier when you're pregnant. Yeah, you know what, I have my Dexcom. I usually don't show it, but since the blood sugars are good, uh, that's important. You know, these high risk OBs, uh, they keep a very close eye on you and it's uh, it's extremely important. And if you're having an issue with your insurance company getting a continuous glucose monitor, type one or type two, this is one indication where they will most likely approve it and you'll be able to use it for that. Yeah, the other thing I should tell you that when I got pregnant, you know, I gained 10 pounds in addition to my wife. So long, nation.